All right, guys, the machine has been restarted, and as you can see, it's the member of itsense.com. One more thing you need to keep this in mind. Once the machine restarts, it gets a domain profile for firewall, which is enabled by default. So after restart, you may lose ping. So you may say, ah, what happened? Maybe my uh, network is dropped, or maybe my site-to-site uh, -site connection has some problem, or machine is not coming up. No. Wait a decent amount of time, a um, few minutes, maximum five minutes, three, four, five, and then try RDP. And once you able to R do RDP successfully, again, as I said, it depends on your policy. You may like to change the firewall or make firewall rule exceptions, or you may have a group policy already configured. Uh, in my case, this is, I'm not testing group policy or anything because I know those features works very well and I can make firewall exceptions using group policy, so do you. So here I'm not going to the nitty gritty of group policy and all that, I'm just disabling the firewall because the idea of this course is to learn Azure and the DR setup brought the firewall and group policy to manage firewall. So once we have this, and if I minimize it, you may see some pings might come out. Okay, so while these things are here, uh, what I would like to do, as this machine is a member server, we would like to add role and features. And the rest of the things are simple, guys. Uh, all you have to do is choose domain service, next, and uh, I'll choose DNS as well. But there is a static IP address uh, on it. But anyway, uh, next, 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 install. And 80 services, it's going to install now. As I said, the idea, my friend, is to learn provision a machine and all the rest of the things are very simple it's the same process like adding additional domain controller to AD but just for the sake of it because the idea is to run a separate instance or another instance of on-premise Active Directory in Azure Cloud so I will go through this process and I will show you the final result that one DC on premise, one DC on cloud, and they will be synchronizing as per the site schedule, you know, site replication. There are two multiples, there are two different sites in a single AD domain. But the idea is once you conquer the site to site VPN and establish the connectivity between on premise and the Azure cloud, and create necessary uh, network security group rules like inbound or outbound rules you know that the rest of the things easy peasy and the machine needs to be powerful enough you know just to make sure to to, to support the role that you want to be in. so we'll wait for a wizard to finish and we will resume after that